Graham, I'm feeling awfully constipated today. I burned for celerity. Just... <laughs> to achieve liftoff? Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back to New Kamak. Darby has just impersonated the unconscious guard and explained that the sound of broken glass was from a crazy naked guy who stormed through the window to which the unseen guard replied that he's on his way to check the surely hilarious security camera footage to see what happened for himself. So Darby goes and knocks over one of the the pots and tries <laughs> and tries to take the tree like out. He's trying to empty out the pot. What's the most destructive way to solve this problem? <laughs> Well, so here's his twisted logic, okay? He, his current story is the, the naked guy ruse. And so, like, what kind of damage would a lubed up naked guy have caused if he really were responsible for this? When did he and get honestly, lubed up? What? <laughs> this glistening naked guy. Um... I think caused all kinds of, of, of ruckus uh, at this place. So I think Darby's thinking whatever damage he causes now, he can just blame on this other guy. So I, mean, I, I believe Augustine splits off to investigate the basement level. Party. Darby's just like, all right, man, whatever you want to do. And just, just like, we can just have the camera footage of the parking garage. I got a bear. I have a bear. Oh. What are they going to do? They don't got a bear. Can they throw their bear? I can throw my bear. Unlike Stalinist Russia, this is a meal. By you going upstairs and me being downstairs, we make a building sandwich that we might all collectively consume. And she's like, what the fuck are you talking? Josh said he could go, buddy. Damn. I, I get to getting, dude. What the fuck? And Darby just looks over, just knowingly confident. Like, yeah, that's what I suspected. And, and then uh, he's like, why don't you learn what you can learn up here? That dumb motherfucker is going to get himself killed down there. And I have got to save that. Okay. Tree loving son of a bitch. His uh, his strategy is shock and awe. So, um, whatever is going to happen down there, storyteller, prepare yourself for it to happen very quickly because Darby is coming full speed. I am going to watch it all on film, <laughs> and then before I leave, I'm going to like figure out how to take these tapes out or whatever. The, the two conscious um, guards in front of you are visibly surprised and very confused about your presence. Uh, remember that you are a bizarre looking individual. Um, <laughs> like your, your body is, uh, is pretty human looking. You don't have very low humanity, so you don't like look ghoulish. But... I think it's been canonically established that you are always wearing like uh, a jacket with a whole bunch of pockets and all sorts of random shit in them and cargo pants with full of like seeds and scraps of plants. So uh, you look straight up bizarre and you're running at them out of nowhere and they are just oh. taken aback capitalizing on their confusion. I'll not repeat myself again. Time is of the essence. Have you applied pressure to the wound? I must examine this before trauma in sets in. Who are you and, and who told you to come down here? My name is Dr. Toboggan. I've been informed by your leadership that you are in need of dire medical attention. I'll have to use some of my, my strongest, most un, uncharacteristic remedies, and uh, I procure some seeds from my pocket. And I put the seeds in the hole. Yeah, Th this of this course. was always where this was going. You knew this was going to happen. I did. I knew this was going to happen. I did not know this was going to happen. <laughs> I, I don't know how how our other two friends what did not pick up on precisely what you were going to do. And I kind of close my eyes and uh, look as though I'm concentrating. 
And uh, I burn a blood to cast Vita Season Facet. Mother. F- <sighs> oh, my God. So, as. as What's his humanity? Guy, What's his fucking humanity? He's, he's, a, he's a goddamn psychopath. I, I assume to harm. To make this oh, a yeah. lethal wound, right? I mean. Yeah. That guy's. Uh, not just to make the 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 and uh, stop the bleeding? Just to mix them all up, just to make the biggest. I'm I'm shooting for the Guinness Book of World Records, <laughs> largest plant produced out of a living body. <laughs> I have two oh, witnesses oh. here who can verify it to the Guinness Book. I look like I am genuinely trying to like do some new age hippy dippy voodoo hack crap medicine to this guy. And I fully intend that if the roll goes well and a plant does erupt out of this dude, I'm going to have this look of surprise like, Man, God, that's never happened. Possibly the realization dawns on them like, there's no fucking way this guy's a real doctor. Um, so please roll to uh, determine whether or not you somehow continue to convince them that you are a doctor. So that'll be uh, eight dice with a specialization oh, 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 oh yeah easy money oh, <laughs> so that's oh, four man. successes they're in fact more convinced than ever that i am a very real <laughs> dr mantis toboggan <laughs> you're not to say doctor you are the best doctor thank god you're here <laughs> yeah. doctor, yeah. Doctor, doctor mantis is that's interesting mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Those are all, all successes. Can he roll these over? This or is it just this roll? Justin does whatever he wants. <laughs> I don't think... That's one of the best rules I've ever seen. It, it only fits that I grow an extraordinary ficus out of this gentleman. Okay, that makes sense. Those seeds... If you could somehow extract them from the plant in the lobby, those would be at the, the top of, let's say, your seed pocket. You you thumb these seeds into this guy's bullet wound, and um, <laughs> you, this is fucking so gnarly. You, you start doing your gestures and incantations, which somehow the the two conscious guards are convinced, like, whoa, you must be the like some sort of doctor savant you look bizarre but that must be because you're a genius and geniuses often you know have quirks and stuff and then all of a sudden the guard's abdomen uh distends and bloats and you hear uh the cracking of ribs and a sound comes out of the guard's mouth the kind of sound like uh if someone comes up behind you, behind you, and uh, like hugs you really hard, that completely inadvertent sound that you make uh, when your lungs are just compressed violently, sort of a like, um, and mm-hmm. all of a sudden, uh, branches with leaves just explode out <laughs> of his mouth. Um, you see? Oh yeah, I need to find a way to take this tape out of here. You see That's a masquerade bridge. You uh, you see a uh, uh, little little bits of twigs poke out uh, of his bullet wound immediately, <laughs> and there's a very noticeable sudden bulge in the back of his pants. <laughs> it is regenerating. It is an encasement of his mortal coil. He will emerge from this plant anew, without wound, momentarily. And uh, yeah, try to convince him. Um, I'm not sure if that ha- if I have enough time before Darby bursts through the door, but I, I did think through a compelling case to make to him for why mm. his friend, who very much is dead, is in fact not actually dead. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> so, so one, it's it's fair to assume this guy's going to die from this, but at the moment, he's he's moving around, kind of being puppeteered by by these plants in his body still like growing and like growing into the insides of his limbs damn 
So, okay, you got those ones. And then he, he kind of writes off the humans and is like, okay, Augustine's on this with his plant shit. And he locks eyes with each of the four big-ass dudes in turn and is like, so you guys must be for me. And, uh... <laughs> so, I just murdered a guy. Let's go. Hell yeah. Like, really, like, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's not okay. He's like really got some of this, this action happening, and it's not great. And okay, so I'm guessing this will be uh, six dice, uh, difficulty eight, to see if you retain your humanity or not. Six dice, difficulty hmm. eight. Easy money. One, two, three. Three successes. Uh, Augustine so is, and this might be even more disturbing. Augustine's fully <laughs> aware that uh, <laughs> murder is not a good thing, and he's been doing it. He loves it quite a lot. Uh, it's <laughs> even if he's very cavalier about it uh, externally, on the inside, it's weighing on him a little bit. Uh, so he retains his his humanity. That is the least convincing face, Augustine. <laughs> well, no, like, he, he feels shitty about it. You look like Jimmy Carr. But he's, like, maybe still pretty <laughs> proud that he grew a really big plant. I think it's an adequate replacement ficus. You know, he might... For skipping on property damage charges. He might feel mostly bad for the plant, because that's not a proper mm. place to plant a ficus, it's not going to thrive there. It's in yeah. a basement. There's no sunlight. Yeah. I really fucked this one up. Oh, man, I can't believe I did that. That plant. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to see this from the perspective of the homicide detective who comes in here. Basking in the glory of this most wonderful creation of mine, I give it a giant hug and burn another blood and cast Awaken the Forest Giants. Awaken the Forest Giants is specifically tree Trees. type things, but I think you need like a fully sized tree for that to work. But uh, Dance of Vines should be able to do what you want it to do. And you actually don't need to touch it for, for Dance of Vines to animate it. And I don't know how I keep getting caught off guard by these things that you come up with. Like, I genuinely don't see it coming. But in hindsight, it's always like, a fucking course. <laughs> Augustine would now fully puppeteer this guy. <laughs> who he I'm pretty sure that's exactly what Darby oh. said. Oh, he fucking has course. the audacity. Yeah, he does. <laughs> we, we've covered that. It's got the horror element and the actual violence element is his limbs and viscera are entangled in this plant that's not oh, going to be moving all wooga, wooga. it's going to be great so, uh, so your intention is to is to animate the guy via ficus and um once you do whatever we would call this abomination what would you direct it to do I would order it to take root and point at the four guards and call them soil. Mm. I'm going to attempt to decompose the... Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Sorry. Fuck. His neck. head? Uh, <laughs> okay, it's worse. His neck, so to... his, his head will be... I'm going to decompose the neck of the brutes trying to grapple Darby from behind. The finishing move of the wrestler Bill Goldberg, which is a uh, kind of like a three-point tackle, like a like a like a football tackle. But I just I would just want to point this out that I am executing a WWE move to tackle this guy, which is my brawling specialty. Style points. He starts to scream, and at first the scream is coming out of his mouth, and then. As his throat starts to disappear, oh, no. uh, his scream uh, starts to get a little distorted and cracks a little bit and just turns into a, uh, uh, a forceful gurgling through a new neck hole. 
So that's horrific. Yep, yep. He's done it again. And he's now next to uh, the guy that you turned into a uh, Pez dispenser. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love it. I love that for me. And uh, the other guy just doesn't even try to track you. He just follows through with punching where you were. (laughs) Got (laughs) him. You get, you get that kind of vibe from these guys. Like, like kind of, kind of big and dumb. Uh, Same. Honestly, same. (laughs) You're all going to have beers and laugh about this later. The survivors. Uh, Yeah. Next guy. Things got crazy back there. (laughs) (laughs) What do you want to call this uh, plant zombie corpse thing? I need to think on it. I need, Mm, I need a. Micus? The ficus? (laughs) Micus! Just imagining like a dangling name tag, Mike. The guy is canonically named Mike. Uh, yes. <laughs> no yeah, hello, my name is Mike uh, S. 